This is what organic gardening looks like. The plants are these huge. This is a squash plant. And uh, that's potatoes right there. And over here, I'm letting these die back because these are ready to dig up. That's potato, red potatoes. I'm going to start turning like that. These are already flowered. But since we had rain, I have to let it dry out before I dig them up. And they'll be dying back. It's too wet in there. You need to let them sit in there about two weeks before you dig them up. So they get good skin on them. I'm not going to water them anymore. Oh, see, it's bumblebees. See, I don't see no bees around. The bumblebees have been doing a good job. These are sweet potatoes. I don't know. I didn't really plan in this one. Sorry, harvested all the um, um, asparagus. This asparagus. They get seeds on them. And you can plant the seeds. Strawberries are done. Uh, got three of those. And I have three asparagus because I have another one over here the peppers i gotta pick some more peppers today they grow really good i like these sweet peppers i put them in stir fry here's my other asparagus this was the first one i put in here's some tomatoes uh started really late this year here's some more tomatoes and squash and okra and arugula there's different things in here that's the grapevine these are grapes bell peppers haven't gotten real big this year but I just used seeds from last year that might be why but, uh, and I gotta put some more calcium on them. Uh, then picking blackberries. These are the big ones. I gotta get, gotta go get something, bring them out. Don't ever pick them red. They're not like strawberries. You can't pick them red and then they turn. So, to remember that. Pick them black. I gotta go get me a bucket. These ain't been in but a couple of years. But they're coming on. I gotta go get my bucket and get them. Yeah, uh, these are might be a little bit too shaded down this end. But they're, they're still they're still growing. Well, let me go get my bucket and I go across the street and see what's going on in that garden over there. These flowers always bloom in July. I was late on putting uh, bone meal and stuff out for the roses this year. Got this garden fenced in. I'm gonna go see if there's any thing to pick. I got okra here, corn, squash, cantaloupe, and watermelon down there. I don't know why this don't look very bright. What the heck? Okay, now we're going to see if we got any squash to pick, and and we always got okra to pick. Watermelons and cantaloupe aren't ready yet. Another cantaloupe. We planted late this year. There's cantaloupe. Cantaloupe.
cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. And cantaloupe there. Well, there's there's a cantaloupe over there. Now, why this is not very bright? I don't know what's going on. Um, let me go through my corn here. I got a couple of tomato things down. Let's see. Is it red okra? I don't let my okra get real big. About that size. Because things get too big, they just, uh, I don't know. They're not good. They get too woody. There's a watermelon. There's a watermelon over here somewhere. It come up volunteer from last garden. Last year's garden. Sure making a lot of leaves and going through the fence. It's right here by this water bottle is the main part. Where's the watermelon? I know there's one here. Where's my watermelon? Well, there's a little one in there starting to grow. But I had one that's bigger. Where did it happen? Didn't rot away, did it? You can't have some that rot away, you know. But there was a big one in there. All these vines, they're, they're, you can miss them though. Oh well getting hot. I don't feel like, okay, I gotta go search and search after watermelon. There's some watermelon. There's one over there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's one. Here's one. Here's one. That's cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Okay. I didn't do too much of a variety this year. Okay. I'm going to go cut some stuff.